fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power now hosting on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you a very simple way. This will not damage your PS3 and it will allow you to double check what is the minimum PS3 firmware that is compatible with your PS3. The reason we want to do this is because I don't want you to waste your time trying to get like these hardware tools to downgrade your PS3 only to find out that you cannot downgrade it to 3.55 or lower. So I'm going to help you save some time and let me show you how this works. So go to the more info section. I got a link where you can download this zip file. It's actually a RAR file and it's called um, it's called a minvercheck. But before we do that, what you want to do is have a USB thumb drive and just make sure that it is formatted as FAT32. To reiter reiterate how to do that, just open up my computer. I'm using Windows 7, for example. Right click your USB thumb drive, go to format, select FAT32, just give it a name here. Quick format is fine, and then start and format your USB thumb drive. I already did that, so I'm not going to do that right now. And then in the more info section, I got a link to where you can download this file called minvercheck. It's a RAR file, but you can use um, WinZip or WinRAR or 7-Zip to unzip the file. So what I, what I did so far was I put it onto my USB thumb drive, and I'm going to right-click it here, and I'm going to just extract it right here for now. You could also do this on your desktop, but for ease of use, I'm going to just do it on my USB thumb drive right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder. And it, first you're going to call it PS3, okay? Inside that folder, make a new folder called Update, Everything is in capital letters, okay? Now go back to where you extracted your RAR file that you downloaded, and inside that folder directory is going to be a file called ps3updat.pub. So go ahead, cut that file, go back into your PS3 folder, update folder, and paste it. Okay, cool. And then if you want to, you can delete these other two files from your USB thumb drive. So all you have ultimately is a PS3 folder, update folder, and then this ps 3 updatepub Don't worry, when we insert this into the PS3, it will not break your PS3. It's not going to upgrade your PS3. It's not going to downgrade your PS3. It's just a very harmless file, a homebrew file, so to speak. We're going to run it, and your PS3 will just let you know what is the minimum firmware version that your PS3 can be downgraded to or is compatible with. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the, to the PS3 footage. Tutorial is awesome. Let's do this. Alright, so in this portion of the video, we're going to start up the PS3 and show you proof of running that mini version check file, basically, and see what is the lowest firmware that the PS3 could be downgraded to, so then we know whether or not it's worth the process to get the correct um, hardware flashers to downgrade your PS3, for example. So here's my PS3 down there. I have the USB thumb drive inserted in the rightmost USB port. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead. Turn on the PS3. Alright, excellent. And just so you guys know, my PS3 is already jailbroken. I've gone through the whole process, so I will have videos in the near future showing how that works. Okay, so let's go to the main menu right here. Awesome. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to System Update, we're going to press down, go to Update via Storage Media, press X. Here it says the following update data was found, version checked by IFCRO, location USB device, click X, OK, and it's going to say um, update data of version 2.45 or later can be installed on this system. So what that is telling me is yes, I could downgrade my PS3 as low as 2.45 so what you want to do is on your own PS3 system as a double check run this file and see what your PS3 is telling you if your PS3 says the latest it could the, the lowest it can downgrade is 3.56 you're sort of screwed but if it says you could do 3.55 3.50 something lower like the 2.x series damn you're in good shape guys so that is today's video tutorial I'm trying to help you save some time and make sure you don't get the tools that may or may not work with your PS3. So, if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.